Hey guys, how are we all doing today? Corey here with another video. What we're gonna discuss in today's video is easily the best bang for buck ratio shotgun microphone on the market. Now let's talk about how we can get you the best audio quality for under $30. Let's dive right in. My objective of this video is not to bore you guys with the specs, uh, but focus on a simple unboxing and then look morely towards a audio quality test. The item that we are featuring in today's video is the SGC598 shotgun microphone from Tackstar. Initially, I had not heard of much from this company at all. Tackstar was kind of one of the underground companies. With doing a little research, I found out some very interesting information. And this information is something that I did want to share with you guys. So, from what I had figured out, this company actually manufactures some of the big name shotgun microphones on the market. So, companies such as Asden, companies like Audio Technica, companies like Rode. So, with that said, this could easily be, you know, just a little bit cheaper of an alternative, um, but still providing great audio quality because if they're making a quality product like Rhodes product or Audio Technica's product, they're definitely not making crap products because let's be honest, some of the products from those companies are absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and dive right into a simple unboxing uh, and then we're going to go straight into a audio quality test. The microphone connects to the device via 3.5 millimeter audio jack. That being said, it is compatible with many different audio devices. One of the huge bonuses with this microphone is the plus 10 decibel boost function. For a microphone at this price point, that is almost unheard of. Good job, Tackstar. The benefit of having the dB boost function is because then you can turn down the camera's volume sensitivity, which lowers the level of ambient noise that the microphone might pick up. This makes for clearer and less static audio. Another distinguishable feature at this price point is the LED power indicator found on the back of the microphone. Normally, this does not come into play until you are looking at higher end microphones. While we are on the topic of power, the microphone is juiced up with a single AA battery and supposedly lasts up to 100 hours of use. That's insane, guys. This is very unique in the shotgun microphone industry with a mic that runs off of a AA battery. With that being said, you could pick up some rechargeable batteries and never have to worry about spending another dime on the microphone. I'm going to link some rechargeables down below. For the following test, I will be comparing the Tackstar shotgun microphone to the inbuilt microphone on my Nikon D5300. For this audio quality test, I will be approximately two feet away and I will not be editing any of the audio in post. The audio sample that I will be using in this test is actually from one of my previous assignments in one of my classes. I will be beginning this test on the Tackstar SGC598. Even though James and I were close for many years, there are still things that I did not know about him. Throughout this interview, I had the opportunity to reach out and figure out some interesting information. I was pleased with the choice that I had made on who I was going to interview, and I was very grateful that he was understanding and cooperative during the whole process. Now, I will be switching over to the inbuilt microphone on my Nikon D5300. All right, so now we are on the inbuilt microphone on my Nikon D5300. I'm going to go through this verse one more time and then I'm going to take a sip of my tea. Even though James and I were close for many years, there are still things that I did not know about him. Throughout this interview, I had the opportunity to reach out and figure out some interesting information. I was pleased with the choice that I had made on who I was going to interview and I'm very grateful that he was understanding and cooperative during the whole entire process. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of improv. It's going to be a sip from a glass show you how clear it might sound, uh, difference between the inbuilt versus the Tackstar mic. I am on the Tackstar mic now, and I'm going to take a sip of my tea. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch right back over to the inbuilt microphone on the Nikon D5300 and take a sip and see how it sounds. And now, for my tea sip. As you can see, there is a drastic change between the two microphones. I am pleased with the Taxar microphone for multiple reasons. 
The biggest reason being the price tag. Now you can scoop one of these for under $30 and change the way that you record your audio tremendously. I'm also very pleased with the simplicity of the product. The microphone is a plug and play and requires nothing more than just to plug it right on into the device. If you are looking to increase your audio performance, then this is definitely what I would recommend to you. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions for me, please drop me in that comment section down below. Check the description box for any links of the items featured in today's video. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.